What's up, YouTube? It's Nadia Jocelyn, and I'm back with another video. And as y'all can tell by the title, by the thumbnail, y'all already know what I'm gonna be addressing. If y'all ain't seen everything that's been going on all over social media, then go catch up, go do your homework, because there's been multiple YouTube videos that's been put out. It's been posted on Messy Mod. It's been little snippets on TikTok. Like, it's damn near everywhere. So if you ain't seen what's been going on yet, do your homework. Cause it's been a lot that's been going on and I was really contemplating on even doing a sit down video explaining my side of the story because it's like I know the real at the end of the day I know I kept genuine and pure on my end through and through so I was really just gonna let go and let God handle the situation but I just feel like it's certain stuff I gotta do to protect my image and not let nobody play with my character and I feel like in this situation Cam feels like he has the upper hand because he did near nose i'm not gonna sit down and address nothing especially not no bs like this but it's like a whole lot of people are texting me talking crazy and i feel like me as a person i don't deserve that especially when it comes to me and cam's relationship i'm gonna come out here and i'm gonna just tell my side of the story like i'm gonna just tell it all i'm sorry but everything is finna get aired out from the beginning to the end so me and cam had met each other back in july at auditions we was vibing we was flirting my sister was with me she ended up putting me and cam on a blind date it went good we started rocking from there i was only with him for like three days while i was in houston the first time i met him again we was vibing but i feel like where i messed up at was i put all my eggs in one basket too soon and he wasn't on that you know what i'm saying so i i take that accountability i put my all into him way too soon and that's why i am where i am now you know what i'm saying i didn't feel him out first i didn't really get to learn him as a person first you know what i'm saying i didn't get to know his roots and they just slowly but surely started to come out the more and more i was around him um after i met him like i said i was with him for a couple of days i really started vibing with him like i liked him for real for real so then after i went back to dallas you know we was just texting we was vibing but after like we dropped our youtube videos our little tiktoks popping out and stuff it was little stuff that was popping up like people was already sending me stuff about this dude and i should have took that as a red flag off rip because it happened too fast. It was too much BS so quick. But again, I, I looked through it. You know, I was like, if it. Like, it's too soon to get on his ASS about doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't really say nothing. I just kept it in the back of my head as in, all right. I put all my eggs in his basket. But he's still moving. You know what I'm saying? I see how he's moving. So let me move accordingly. So, boom. The next time I see him was friends with benefits and if y'all don't know already if y'all ain't watched it i was paired up with tj first day there so y'all over here calling me a bop because i was doing relationship tiktoks after y'all just see me with kim we had to whoever we was coupled up with we had to make couple content it was gonna be posted the next day supporters was gonna vote who they thought was the cutest couple that day if you got voted the most, you get the boom boom room or you get a date. We had to make a couple content. Now, me and TJ, we did have a little flirtatious moment earlier in the year, but it never got too serious. When we was fighting with each other, we never linked. We linked once in Atlanta, and we did a YouTube video it's on my channel. But when we made that video, we wasn't messing around. During Friends with Benefits, me being around TJ, he kind of turned my head a little bit. We was flirting. I, I say that. I admit that we was flirting. Did whatever we did, flirting, whatever. Then, you know, after that, I seen it bothered Cam. He'd over here get mad, say slick stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just bothered him, so I, I stopped. I took his feelings into consideration, and I stopped. I'm focusing back on Cam. Then, first day Naima come back on Friends with Benefits, he caught the girl sexy and flirting with her. I didn't find out until the next day. I found out when I'm in the car with Ashley in Brooklyn on the way to the beauty supply store. I see a supporter text me. I screenshot it. I sent this cam. I asked him. I said, you caught this girl sexy? He said, no. I said, okay. I let it go. Then I got a screen record of it. I said, babe, let me send it to him. Oh, now he's talking about, oh, yeah, I did call her sexy. I'm sorry. I forgot. I was just trolling, though. How you trolling? Because if you was trolling, you would have told me what you said. And you wouldn't have lied about it. Take accountability, sir. So I was like, bet. Blocked him. Mind you, I'm finna see him in like 30 minutes. We had to go to a field to do a little uh pie, Mary, kiss little thing for challenge for the show. After the little challenge game, whatever, he came up to me. He was like, so you really mad? Da -da -da -da. 
I say, I'm never talking to you again. You have some audacity trying to come up here and be in my face after you just lied to me and embarrassed me on camera. He says, so you're not talking to me no more? It's on the Patreon. The episode already dropped. Go see for yourself. He said, oh, you're not going to talk to me no more? No, I wanted him to leave me alone. You embarrassed me. Boom. He was like, all right, bet. So we ended up going to the house. We had a conversation again. It didn't get nowhere. Then he's going to tell me, all right, you don't want to talk to me no more? Bet. Mind y'all, the same day, at night, was Temptation Mansion. The girls were staying at the B&B. The boys was going to the house full of other other females. He told me, he said, okay, bet. We doing that, bet. I'm finna go do me something with another female. I don't want to see you texting me after. And when he said that, I immediately started crying. I started crying because I'm like, damn. This nigga just embarrassed me and hurt my feelings. And he can't even take accountability for it. He didn't even say sorry. He's just going to add on to the hurt. So I started boiling out, crying, crying, crying. I'm like, this dude really hurt me. That's when I started bringing my family into it. I'm calling my mama. She telling me, baby, just come home. You don't deserve that. Da, 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 da. My brother trying to grab the phone from her. Sister, come home. Come home. You crying too soon. Come home. Get away from that. I pushed past it. I seen it through. I looked right through the after the show, I ended up going back to Dallas. This was when he started showing his ass. He's out till 6 a.m., not texting me. So I'm like, all right. I'm starting to see how he's moving now. I'm not saying you can't go out. He would stay out till 6 in the morning, not texting me. Text me the next day at like 2 p.m. All right. Turning locations off. This was when everything started to unfold. And I'm thinking... You know, we, we on the right track because we falling asleep on the phone. Like, we doing good, y'all. I'm thinking this boy finally finna commit to me. We doing good. We going to sleep on the phone. He giving me attention. You know what I'm saying? He's making me feel good. He's making the distance worth it. Then, all of a sudden, he go to this little uh, find your match party that uh, Famous Friends hosted. I knew something was off because I was in Galveston at the time. I just had a bad gut feeling. I just knew something was off. I ain't saying nothing, though. He didn't text me that whole day, damn near. Next day, he texts me and he says this girl was bothering him, won't stop texting him, da-da-da-da. He, he sent me to go text her to tell her to leave him alone. So I'm thinking, like, all right, this girl texted my man. You know about me. I'm all over his page. Every social media, I'm on there. So I'm like, all right, let me go check her because why you keep trying to talk to my man and you see he got a girl. I text the girl. She telling me, Oh, girl, he was the one that was on my body. He's touching my booty. He told me to call him after I leave the party. Let's meet up, da-da-da-da. I'm like, you got proof? She sent the proof. All right. But the only flirty messages she sent was old. Oh. But it was just the fact that she texted him that he misses her and he liked the message. That was That's what threw me off. But I really couldn't build off of that. It's too small. So again, I pushed past it. I never got an apology. He never explained to me. He never took accountability, but I just pushed past it. After that, we started getting a little rocky. He went to Slime B&B, uh, Slime on Live, and he said, yeah, Cam and I are going crazy. If I can find the screen record, I will put it in, but I promise y'all I looked up and down for it. I couldn't find it. But I'm like, all right, what is he in there going crazy about? Then we go live with Maj talking about the Valerie situation. Maj saying he heard a rumor he after girl on Slime B&B. &B. So I'm like, alright, it's a rumor going around. I'm not just tripping. If I'm just making stuff up in my head, nobody else would have heard it. But it's like, now that I know word word out, he doing something in the bathroom with another girl, now it's making me feel like, alright, what is this? What did you do at the party that's making motherfuckers think that you did something in the bathroom with another girl? Damn, boom. It was one night, again, I'm in Dallas, me and Cam on the phone. He in his little room, uh, folding some clothes. I forgot what he was doing, but he's occupied. His homeboy, Red, come in the room. He's like, Cam, why'd you leave the condom in the bag, bro? Cam, look, like he's seeing a ghost. He said, bro, I'm on the phone. Stop trolling. She already mad at me. Red gonna say something. Bro, I'm just trolling her. You know how I get da 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 How you trolling me? You ain't know we was on the phone. How was that you trolling? So I heard it. I hung up. Blocked him. I blocked him that whole night. I ain't want to hear nothing. His homeboy's texting me talking about some, bro, he was just trying to troll you. You don't know him, but that's just what he does. Da, 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 da. Back in my mind, I know he wasn't trolling. I know he wasn't trolling me. Because you ain't even know we was on the phone until Cam said something. How you trolling me? 
It don't make no sense. So now I'm putting stuff together. I'm like, okay, they did say Cam did this and that at the B&B. Now it's a cop being found in the bag. But it's just no proof for me to build off of. So I'm like, F it. After that, again, I pushed past it. I seen a supporter screenshot a Twitch that Cam was on. And they tagged me and they said, let me find out. And it was Cam and another girl on Twitch. And they was being real close and touchy. So the supporter said, I took that screenshot and I sent it to Cam. I said, Cam, who the F is this? Let me find out. He said, nah, bro, nah. That's one of my, what, that's the girl my homeboy messed with. So I'm like, oh, okay. His homeboy messed with her. It can't be nothing serious. I'm like, okay, cool. Supporter probably just doing too much. Fast forward. I got my car. Day after I got my car, I drove to Houston. I went to go pick up Cam from his house. And we went to Manny Apartments so we could stream. We pull up. And there's two girls there. They from Canada. And I'm like, oh, hey. They're like, hey, you're so pretty. Da, 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 da. I'm like, thank you. So we ended up popping up on Twitch. I'm reading the comments. they like, the girl in the braids back there was flirting with Cam. So I'm reading. I'm like, oh, okay. So I turn. I'm finna say something to her. Cam grabbed my mouth. He's scared as hell for me to talk to the girl. And that's what kind of got me a weird vibe. So I'm like, why will not you let me talk to her? Like, So after that, I just dropped it. How do I know they from Canada? Because the same, my first day going to Houston and we was all doing that little stream stuff and I seen them there in person for the first time. They left Manny apartment because they had to catch a flight back to Canada. And she was like, oh, we'll be back. Da, 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 da. Cool. Manny was like, oh, y'all going back to Canada already? That's how I knew they was from Canada. Keep that in mind. So, boom. After that, you know, we just vibing, you know, me and Cam chilling, doing what we do. Boom. I ended up going back to Dallas. One day, I just get a text. I'm going through my hidden request, and I see a text. And it's Red's ex-girlfriend. She texted me, and she's like, Nadia, I hope you got your lick back on Cam, or at least left him alone. I'm like, hold on. Is this someone trying to troll me, or like, is this real? Like, Let me respond. Because she said something about him effing another girl. So I responded. I was like, huh, what do you mean? Like, Do you have any proof? She was like, call me or something like that. I ended up calling her. She's telling me that Cam and Ray did this little two-man with these two girls from Canada. And they slept with each other. And, and that the day Ray got Cam caught up about the condom. That she was on the phone with Red. And after I hung up and blocked Cam, Cam went in the room and tried to press Red saying, Bro, you need to tell her you was just trolling. You got me caught up. Da, 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 da. I'm like, hold on. Two girls from Canada? She's telling me how this. I'm stuck at the two girls at, from Canada. And I'm thinking, I'm like, hold on. I was just in the same room with this girl he effed. So you had me in the same room with the girl you effed. So I'm like, do you know the girl Instagram? She gave me the Instagram. I texted the girl. She responded. She said, call me. But yeah, I, I don't even follow him no more. I removed his follower. Like, I don't really talk to him no more. So. But yes, we did fuck multiple times. Was it raw or did y'all use a car? No, nah, we used a car. I made sure. Like, I literally made him go buy a too. But I just hear that he be doing this. Like, and he ain't even like sneaky with it either. Like yeah. even when when you saw me, uh -huh. um when you saw me, he literally like I don't know if you saw, but he was like crossing his fingers, like he was talking to me while you were right there. He was like, Please don't say nothing, but you know me, like it ain't my place to say anything mm -hmm. because it's like if it comes across like I don't mind sharing, like especially to you, like I wouldn't care. Mm -hmm. But even after that like we've i talked to him like the other day too mm -hmm. and like even when you guys were together the day i left mm -hmm. he is over here like commenting hard eyes on my shit, like after we got off the phone i immediately texted cam i said who was this da, 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 da. cam responded with some bro i'm done with you i'm not dealing with this no more da, 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 da. you're not dealing with what cam I just found out you do F somebody else. Mind y'all, the day before he F'd her, he was trying to make me his girlfriend. So when he get on here and he tell y'all, oh, we was just for content, but in real life, it's nothing. Don't let that little nigga lie to you. This nigga brought me a ring. He brought me a ring. Finna take me to have dinner with his mama. Talking to his mama on the phone. Talking to my mom on the phone. Telling me, I want you to be my girlfriend. I want to lock in. But he telling y'all lies on the internet saying we just for content, right? Bet. Noted. It's cool. Doesn't say anything. You mad. Back to the story. 
after that, I'm like, all right, bet. I'm crying. This nigga not comforting me in no way. Again, we not together. But it's like, if you're going to be doing that, the least you can do is tell me. You see, I'm hurt. At least apologize. That's the least you can do. Sorry, I ain't going to break the ice. Sorry, I ain't going to cut it. But that's the least you can do. That's the bare minimum. You can't even reach it. It's sad, nigga. So after that, I changed my whole perspective on this dude changed. I said, Cam, we can keep what we got going on, but we just vibing. I'm not looking at, I'm not looking for a relationship out of this no more. Not anytime soon, at least. So we can do what we do, vibe how we vibe, but just know I'm finna vibe with other people. He's talking about some, oh, I don't want you to do nothing with nobody else. I don't want you to talk to nobody else. Why do you think I'm be okay with that? You was doing it, let me do it too. Ultimatum. You want to be with me? Cool. But I'm, I'm going to do my shit too. Know that. So boom, after that, after we both established that we were single, I ended up talking to this one dude. Dread. Some of y'all been people who he is. If you don't know, y'all not going to know because I'm not saying no names. But, you know, we was vibing whatever. I met him. Not met him at my birthday, but we have the same birthday. So that's when we actually started talking to each other, getting to know each other, just as friends. It was one day. We was at a party. The dude was there. Mind y'all, he's in Famous Friends. He's going to be around damn near everywhere we go. So... He, we're all at a party. Cam sees me talking to the dude. He's feeling away. I can tell because he just his vibe, his energy just threw everything off. Party in, we all outside. The dude I'm getting to know is getting into it with his homeboy. I'm cool with his homeboy. We like this. And they drunk. They damn near finna fight each other. I'm going, I'm like, bro, y'all just need to chill. Y'all drunk. Y'all don't want to fight each other. Y'all, it's not worth it. Here come Cam, grabbing me up by my wrist, grabbing my arm. What is you doing, bro? Da 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 da. Cornering me, grabbing on me, manhandling me. And the dude that I'm getting to know, he's looking. He was like, "You good? Like you want me to help you? Like what's up?" I'm like, "It's good. It's fine." Eli come. He telling Cam, "Bro, get off her. This don't look right." Cam, get off me. Bro, we go separate ways. That's when Cam started showing his hand. That's how when he started showing his hand. You getting too comfortable. Now, my most recent time coming back to Dallas was for the camping trip. Now, at this point, me and Cam really just fed up with each other. So, we have an establishment that we both single. I'm doing, I'm talking to other people, he's talking to other people. I don't even care no more. It's way different from Cam feeding me lies and empty promises and boosting my head up while he's playing me versus me telling him, hey, we single, and I'm doing me, and he doing him. Now, we have that establishment that we single and we doing us type beat. Cabin trip come, you know, we vibing, it's cool, and it's good. Last day there, this nigga egg my car. Now, mind y'all, y'all might think it's playing, it wasn't. That morning, Cam wanted me to take him to court. An hour and 30 minutes away, he had to be there at 8 in the morning. You wanted me to get up at 6.30 to take you an hour and 30 there and an hour and 30 back, knowing you don't put gas in my car, are you crazy? I told him, Cam, make my car your last resort. Try to reschedule. Try to get your homeboy to take you something because he knew i didn't want to make that drive he even said it himself so morning come he all mad throwing attitude being weird and me not talking to me because i don't want to take him to court i'm not you not my responsibility son you not find your own way to court so keep that in mind that it was already tension boom we had to play a game you spin the bottle the bottle land on you you got to grab an egg everyone around you try to throw it and hit somebody I didn't want to play that. I didn't eat that morning. It was hot. We had to do running. I didn't feel like doing that. I didn't want to pass out. I didn't want to throw up. So I'm waiting in the car just watching. Watching everybody. I'm recording. I'm having a good time. Then I see the game start getting a little unorganized. People throwing water, throwing eggs randomly, trying to wet each other. So I'm like, uh-uh. Then it was people coming in my back seat because they didn't want to get hit. I'm like, yeah, come on in, y'all. Like, y'all can get in if y'all don't want to get hit. I locked the door, walled the windows up. Brooklyn, get out my sunroof. She throw an egg at Chris. Miss. He come to my car, Chris like, I'd be wrong if I threw an egg at your car, right? Da, 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 da. I said, Chris, I didn't throw no, nothing at you. Don't throw nothing at my car. He's playing. I see the thing. Everyone's starting to settle down. Nobody else throwing nothing. I roll my window down. I'm reaching my head out. I'm talking to Chris. Here come Cam throwing eggs in my car. Throwing eggs on me. I get out on 10. I'm like, Cam, come clean this shit up. You got me effed all the way up. Come clean this up. He talking about some, I'm not cleaning nothing up. You clean it up. Da, 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 talking crazy. I said, uh-uh, come back and clean this up because what make you feel like you can throw eggs in my car? He go, he get on the go car real fast trying to leave. I grab a key. I said, clean my car. He said, hell no, I'm not cleaning your car. I said, bet. I'll get my brother on the phone ASAP. No, Rocky, both of them. Boy, when I tell you my brother ain't been so happy to get on this ass because my brother, both of my brothers, they know everything this man done to me. 
everything. They was waiting for the moment I call them so they can whoop Cam ass. I call them. My brother said, "If they put me on speakerphone, I put them on speakerphone. They started getting into it. Everything get crazy. He still didn't clean my car. He said, "Oh yeah, you want to get news on me? No, I'm really not gonna clean your car. You wasn't gonna clean it anyway, Cam. You wasn't. Be honest, you wasn't." He ended up leaving with his homeboy, Raven, and all the girls started helping me clean my car in Houston. So then I'm starting to thinking like, all right, he probably is being envious over me. After that little trip, I took my space from him for a couple of days. He ended up texting me saying he's sorry about the car. I'm like, it's good. We'll talk in person next time I see you. We at the content house. Everyone making content. I'm not really making content because at the time, my mind was so set on doing pranks with Cam. I said, Cam, you want me to go pick you up so we can go do content? I'm thinking about him and his money. So he can get videos done for y'all, for his supporters, for his channel. I drive an hour to go get him, I drive an hour back. We chilling, we vibing, whoop de whoop. Couple days he's been here. Now mind y'all, we got this little group in the house, Live 5, me, Ashley, Ida, Debo, Keith. Every morning we go get food and we talk about what's ever on our chest. It'll be times where we have game nights, we pick one room that we gonna sleep in, we all have a sleepover. On the floor, on the bed, on the chair, knocked out. It's a little thing we got going on, just to get vulnerable, you know what I'm saying? open up with each other so it was one night we had extra people in the house it was like 10 of us so i'm like if it we can all just play truth through there we got three bottles of casamigos let's get lit we all in a uh, felipe room we all playing truth through there mind y'all we grown as heck it's little kids watching i say it's gonna be nasty baby we grown as heck everyone in that room is over age so the dads was like little stuff like kiss the two people you have a some with kiss or slap the girls um, kiss the most attractive person, show your favorite sex position. It was just stuff like that. We was doing it. Everyone having a good time. Then after that, we run out of a bottle, so the game started getting dead. They said, Nadia, go downstairs and get the bottle. I go downstairs. I see Cam sleep. I lean over. I said, Cam, you sleep? He said, yeah. He was the only one not in the room because he was editing. I said, okay. I went to go get the bottle. I was walking out to go back upstairs. I seen he was on his phone, so I was like, dang, I woke him up. Let me invite him over upstairs i'm like come on cam let's get up like get up let's like you want to come with us be playing games whatever he's like all right he gets up he goes upstairs in the middle of a conversation of t one of the girls i was there it was my first day meeting her that she was a good kisser he's like who's a good kisser like he's like asking questions i said cam kiss her so you can see what we're talking about i told him to kiss her he was like what kiss her da, da, da. he's confused looking around for a camera it's not a prank kiss her i don't care if you want to kiss her kiss her so just so you can see what we're talking about like we grow on his head so then i bring up the fact that felipe kissed me on my cheek during the kiss or slap he's like oh he kissed you back he got a girl real quick sat her on one leg they started kissing then they kissing for like two minutes she get both legs over him he grabbing her butt they leaned back they mom and kissing, I'm just looking. I kept the pee. I ain't saying that they don't feel no way. Because we, we already, at that time, we already established that we single. We doing what we doing. After that, they stopped kissing. The girl that he was kissing, T, said, let's go to, let's go outside, run with our shirt off down the street and run back. I'm like, bet. So I'm getting my shoes. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to find my stuff to go outside. I walk back in the room. He ha he picking her up again, kissing her. I said, okay, I'll put that girl down so we can go do this there. I said, it's just like that, playfully. He said, Bro, why are you blocking? Da, 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 da. I said, boy, you can have her after we do this there. I said, you can have her. I put him in the dough. Whether he got play that night or not, it's not on me. You didn't smooth talk the girl. You ain't getting no play. Why are you crying? We go outside. We run. We run back. Cam and Debo at the door. Debo says, you can't get in until you show some some." I pump fake just like that. As soon as I pump fake, Debo opened the door. Cam looked at me like, you was going to do it too. I said, boy... Anyway, and if I was, I woke upstairs. I peeped Debo following by me. Then he go on the couch, whatever. I go upstairs, take my makeup off, because I just got done running. My under eyes got like, ew, it's just like my concealer is all messed up. I had a crease right here. I'm like, if I'm going to take my makeup off. Taking my makeup off in the bathroom. Debo come in there, he lean over the sink like this. He telling me he feel nauseous, da, 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 da. I'm like, dang, like, you feel okay? Like, you want me to bring you some water, like, sit on the toilet type beat? He was like, nah, I'm good. I just feel nauseous, but it's not going to come up. Like, it's just sitting on like, sitting on his stomach. So I'm, I'm like, all right. I'm still taking off my makeup. I'm washing my face. Then he walks out. And I hear them laughing. Cam and Debo laughing. Then I walk out. Cam like, you dirt. Da, 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 da. I'm like, boy. Then uh, Ida and Ashley, you know, they asked to go to the bathroom. I said, okay, well, let's go to one downstairs because I'm on my period. I have to change my pad. I have to pee. And we go downstairs. I close the door. Ashley's like... 
Nadia Cam's mad. I said, mad at what? Mad for what? Uh, she was like, I don't know, but he said he can't wait to tell Jacob that you're a D sucker and he's going to get on YouTube and expose you and he's going to post a video. I said, girl, don't stunt none of that. I ain't do nothing. I don't care. If you want to do that, do that. Do it. I don't care. Look dumb. So I can get on here and tell you exactly what it was in the bathroom. So after that, I ended up going back upstairs. CNA wasn't doing nothing. I went downstairs. I'm finna lay in the spot that I lay at every night that I'm in the house. Debo, mind y'all, Debo is on the other side of the couch because he's slumped. Someone was in his room. He didn't want to lay next to the girl because the girl was drunk. He was being respectful. So he's laying on the other side of the couch. I guess Cam Pete, me and Debo was on the couch. So he came downstairs. He was trying to wake Debo up. He's like, Debo, be good up. You got to go. Like, I'm tired. Woo -woo, blase, blase. After Debo get up, he points at me. He said, you need to go up there with him too. And I'm like, boy, I sleep here every night. They start grabbing me, pulling on my shirt, grabbing my arm, grabbing my leg, trying to get me off the couch. I said, Cam, touch me again. I'm going to hit you. So he pulling me again. I said, mink, mink. My second hit didn't connect. I hit him in his neck. Then he's like, oh, you got me messed up. Mind you, standing up at this point. So he pushing me, shoving me out of here, us rumbling and stuff. She's like, Cam, you can't be doing that to her. Like, she's a girl, da, 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 da. Like, stop, you're tripping. He's like, nah, she got me effed up. He stopped pushing me. I lay back on the same spot. He said, bro, get up. He ripped my shirt up like this, like, like grab it like that and lift me up. I bite him hard as F. I felt his skin in my mouth. He said, B, you just bit me? You got me effed up. I'm finna get my sisters to come and whoop your ASS. I said, okay, wake me up when they get here. Lay right back in the spot. Then he started doing all this commotion. Eli and Eli X come downstairs. And they like, the girl tell me, Eli X tell me, Nadia, you can sleep with us. Like, please just come on. Y'all don't have to do all this. Da, 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 da. I said, no, I'm going to sleep right here. Then Eli's like, Cam, you got to do all this over a spot. Da, 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 da. Cam like, no, bro, it's weird. She was just doing all that with Debo in the bathroom. I said, boy, shut up. I didn't feel like explaining myself. It's early in the morning. I don't feel like explaining myself to nobody. I don't have to explain myself to nobody. You thought we do something? We did something? Think it. Believe it. Hey, Tama, I'm just like, okay, I'll lay on the other side of the couch. So then Cam's like, yeah, go. So I lay on the other side. When I start to get comfortable, he gets up again and says, no, it's just the fact that she's by me. I don't want her by me. Bro, you're 23 years old acting like a little dude. What is wrong with you, boy? Oh, that stuff was so unattractive. Like, bro, you're, bro, ill, like, ick. Ick. You're grown as heck. Crying about a spot. Ick. You're ill. Ew, literally ill, Cam. You're ill. So after that, you know, he let it go. I was laying down. I still have it. I still hear everyone talking upstairs. So I go upstairs. I'm like, dang, they still up partying. Like, what's up? What I miss? Don't leave me out. So I walk upstairs. I see everybody in Eli's room. I'm like, oh, okay, bet. I walk in there. I'm like, what y'all doing still up? Then they asked me about what I'm going to be for Halloween. I hesitate to answer. They was like, see, you don't even know. So we looking on our phone. We showing each other. Da, 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 da. Eli, he's like, so what are y'all doing? Like, where y'all finna sleep at? Because I'm finna lay down. It's not going to be no in and out my room. Like, I'm ready to go to sleep. So we like, oh, okay, we're just staying here. He was like, if y'all going to keep talking, y'all have to get out. So I was, we was all like, oh, all right. You know, all the girls laying on the bed. Then I'm standing on the floor. I was the last one in the bed. He looked at me. He said, so what you finna do? I said, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll just lay on the end. So we all in the bed, whoop the whoop. Then, same thing, same dance we was doing in the other room. Everything that was done in the other room, we did in this room. We did in this room. Eli X was on timing. The only girl that was not in the room was T, the girl Cam was kissing. She was laying on the couch. Eli X wanted to go wake the girl up. Eli X asked the girl for a threesome with Eli. She wanted to wake the girl up so she can come and be in the room with us, all in the bed. After that, we ended up laying down, woo -de -woo, you know, we three-way kiss, you know, we was just doing stuff we was doing in the other room. Eli X ended up getting up, and she walk out. And then she's, uh, she getting her stuff like she finna leave, so we say bye. We end up laying out, laying down, we doze off. Then I hear banging on the door, a light bang, and then it stop. I'm half, I'm asleep, but I'm half sleep. I can hear. Then I hear doop, 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 doop. Cam bust in. Tell myself, bro, what y'all got going on? You in here effing? He said, be you dirty. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Talking like saying crazy stuff. I'm looking at him. He said, y'all got this girl crying. Eli, that's not pee at all. Da da da. I'm just looking. I can't do nothing but look. Boy, I'm just effing. You doing all this. Please be so for real. Eli ended up getting up. Shay come in the room. She's like, where's my phone? Da 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 da. I'm the girl. I don't know. I'm just.
I'm sleep, half sleep. What's the, I don't know. Uh, her phone was under the bed. I grabbed it. I gave it to her. Cam like, nah, you need a whoop her. You need a whoop her ASS. Da, 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 da. I said, Cam, shut up. You just want something to be mad at. Shut up. So then they ended up going downstairs. I laid on the couch because clearly we all can't sleep in the room together without motherfuckers crying. After you was just on timing. Girl, you initiated half the stuff that was going on, but you in here crying? So I laid on the couch upstairs. I get woken up again on my sleep. Chris wake me up. He said, Nadia, Shay want to fight you. But I know you drunk and I know you sleep right now. So I told her no. I said, yeah, it's good. Then they ended up leaving. So then I wake up, finally, midday. And I'm looking at my phone. I'm like, why is my stuff blowing up? I see Cam and Eli X on TikTok, on live. I see the butt to the... Girl, shut up! You want to be victim so bad. You just asked a girl in the house for a three and she didn't do it you just initiated so much stuff with all these girls and you're crying on live you're crying on live cam you was cuddled up with tea on the couch i walked upstairs i see y'all under the covers that's when i walked back down and lay up my ass on the couch but you want to follow right behind me because you seen debo was on the couch you was just making out with this girl in front of my face yes i told you to do it but it was the fact that I kept it pee. I didn't do what you was doing. I didn't get on live and do all this. You told me you wanted to F that girl. You told me that. You said you wanted to F her. But you assume we had a three um, and you assume I did this with Debo and the world, eh? You made two YouTube videos. I bet you was excited about that, huh? There's Cam for y'all. Cam is so money hungry clout chasing this nigga will do anything for you for views why because the views gonna bring him money regardless whether it's lying on someone he knows that generally loved him lying on his homeboys he's gonna do it regardless because it benefits him at the end of the day he's selfish is f and i knew that and i should have seen boy cam is so money hungry for the right price cam going cam going for the right price he going I should've knew for the right price, you throwing anybody under the bus, and that's exactly what he did. He so quick to make two YouTube videos over nothing, over lies. His stories don't even match up. Cause first you said she went downstairs and told you not to say nothing. But then I seen a video of you saying that she went downstairs telling you to go up there cause we was effing. Which one is it? Then you said that you walked in and seen it. Which one is it? Which one? Like, hello, let's pick a side here if you're going to lie about it. I'm not even finna do too much because at the end of the day, motherfuckers' truth colors going to end up showing. Watch the new Friends with Benefits episode that dropped. Y'all going to see I was hurt and Cam was downstairs talking about some, oh, I'm on the house tonight. Watch your HOE. You hear Nunu just looking at him like, your homeboys know you embarrassing. And it's crazy. It's really crazy, like, how much you can do for a person and they go and do this. Space an opportunity to make me look like the bad guy, he gonna take it. He gonna run with that story. So he can bring in views and save his image. So he can be victim. While throwing me under the bus, making me look crazy. Making me look fast. Man, it's so many motherfuckers that done texted me saying, Nadia, I know this not you. I know you in real life. Okay, then. They ain't even believe it. You know that's not me, Cam. But now I aired it out, so y'all gonna see. Cam can't take accountability, and he won't. He too prideful. At his big old age, he 23, and he don't act like it. I know a 19-year-old that I just met that acts way more than a man than him on a mindset level, and it's sick. So y'all can have Cam. Y'all can have him, because I'm done with him. It ain't no bad blood. Hopefully later, later years from now, we can be cordial, where we can be around each other. But now I'm keeping my distance. I see what type of person he is. And that ain't no person I'm going to be around. So there goes that for y'all. I love y'all. I love my supporters. I'm not saying pick a side. Love us both. But love us from a distance. Don't bash him. Don't bash me. At the end of the day, we human. And there's just some stuff we got to grow and work on. But it is no more Nadia and Cam. It's a couple videos I got to drop with him that I have in the vault. But that don't mean we back together. I don't want to know nothing he doing. Don't at me and none of his stuff. I promise you I le I'm letting this boy, I'm letting him go. I'm releasing him with love because that's the least I can do. Because th this boy done brought me so much pain in the short amount of time that we've been messing with each other. I kept it genuine on my end through and through. Every time we went out, Nadia paid for it. Oh, you broke your camera same day I put money in so you can get a new lens when you ain't have enough money. Oh, you need a ride because you don't got a car? Take my car, baby. You ain't even put no gas in my shit. 
I was, I was a real person with him through and through. Through and through, I was real. I was trying to get him to go to church, man. It's just crazy for the right price, motherfuckers, to do it. They'll do it to you. But I'm done. I'm not clearing up no more rumors. I'm not going back and forth on the media no more. I'm not telling my side no more. I'm done. My real supporters, they're going to stick shit through with me. But I'm not doing no more YouTube video clearing up my name. I'm not. My will do anything for views. And it's not It's not on me to keep clearing my name. When it's motherfuckers like this telling the story. I'm going to let go and let God. Because I believe in karma. And karma going to get his ass. And I believe it. I'm done. Make sure y'all like the video, comment, and subscribe, and I love y'all.